Hi everybody, thank you so much for joining me on my channel today. This is Amber and I have a very special video in store for you today. And the reason it's special is because it is in collaboration with my good crafty friend, Ginny, and she is over at Polly's Paper Studio here on YouTube. I'm sure a lot of you have seen her channel and her videos and you know and love her already. So just in case you have not subscribed to her channel yet, I'm going to link everything below including her video that she's going to be doing in collaboration with this one. So I am so excited to be collaborating on a project for Ginny's 13 Days of Halloween series that she's got over on her channel. And again, if you have not seen her videos, you're totally missing out. The way that they flow and her creative design, just everything is so well organized and prepared and her tutorials are so clear. So we are so excited. We're gonna be doing projects with the same paper collection. And what we decided to do is I am gonna be doing and recreating a project that she made on her channel. And she's gonna be doing one that I made here on my channel. And we're both going to be using the Simple Stories Boo Crew Collection. This is the cutest collection ever to kick off the Halloween season. And I have chosen to do her paper bag mini album. So she did this paper bag mini album during Christmas time, I believe last year. And I just fell in love with it. I love a simple project and I love using things that anybody can get their hands on. So I'm going to be taking you through all the materials I use. This is so easy. You should craft right along with me. And don't forget to go over to Ginny's channel and check out her video as well. Let her know I sent you. And I hope that you enjoy this tutorial. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so again, I'm using the 12 by 12 collection kit um, by Simple Stories. It's called Boo Crew, and it comes with, you know, Simple Stories paper. It has all these cutouts that you can use in a sticker sheet, and it has all these pattern papers. So this is going to be so much fun. We're going to be creating a paper bag mini album, and the paper bags that I'm using, let me show you the packaging. You can get these from Hobby Lobby or Michaels. They, the Michaels ones are called Celebrate It, and these ones are the Saxon things I got at Hobby Lobby. You get 16 in here for $3. So for this project, we're going to be using six paper bags, and if your paper bags have a different measurement than mine, just... Um, adjust the measurements based on how big yours are. I've got these craft colored paper bags, six of them, all ready to go. And I'm going to put those aside while I show you the scrapbook paper you're going to need. So I already have all of mine cut down and the first batch you will need is six pieces that measure four and one quarter by three and a quarter. And this is using that adorable Boo Crew collection that I showed you. Next, you will need six pieces that measure four and one quarter by two and three quarters. Then you will need six pieces that measure four and one quarter by five and a half. And you will need six that measure four and one quarter by one. So you're gonna just need a bunch of the cutter parts that come with the collection. Um, here I have two by two, three by four, um, four by four, four by six. You're just gonna cut apart anything that comes with the collection to use for embellishments and little tuck-ins. And last, you will need six pieces of solid cardstock that measure three and three quarters by five and one quarter. Okay, so let's just start with the paper bag and I've got it on the back side where this little flap right here is. And the first thing we're gonna do is take the scrapbook paper that measures four and a quarter by three and a quarter. And we're just going to mat that so there's a little sliver of a border on the top and the two sides. So let's just adhere that down. So just have a little bit of that craft bag showing as a border. Okay, so we've got that piece down. And then we're gonna work with this pocket. So where the flap is here, I like to take my bone folder right on the top of it because we're gonna be folding that up like this. So just take your bone folder and crease it so it folds nice and easy. And take some wet glue 
and just do a thin bead down the two sides of that pocket. So then just glue that down, make sure it's even with the two sides of your bag. And now we need the scrapbook piece that measures four and a quarter by two and three quarters. So that's this piece here. And I'm gonna put it right there. And it makes a cute little decorative pocket. So now you can like fit goodies in there. Okay, so now we just need to map the back of it. And this is the scrapbook paper that measures four and a quarter by five and a half. And you're just gonna go just like that. So that's the basic construction of your bag. So you need to do this to all six bags. And I've already done so on camera to save time. Look how pretty they are. I love these patterns. And then there's the back of all those. So I'm gonna set these aside for a minute because I'm gonna show you a little something we're gonna add right here. Um, on Ginny's album, she totally inspired me to do this. She has like a little belly band and um, a decorative piece in the middle. So this collection has this amazing sheet of two by two cut aparts and I love it so much. So I chose six of them and this is where the um, four and a quarter by one inch strip comes in. So you just put it right across there and then that right there and it makes a cute little decorative pocket. So there is our paper bag. You can take this and make it your own, decorate it with whatever paper you want and I'm gonna show you what we're gonna put in there. But let's go ahead and finish the little band and embellishment on the rest of the bags. Okay, so I've got those all on there, and I'm sure you've noticed that I've got holes punched in some of these, and we're going to be doing that in just a minute, and then I'm going to show you what we're going to put inside the pockets. It's going to be so fun. So for this album, I want it to be a ring-bound album, and I left two of these without holes because I need to choose which one is going to be the front cover, and for the front cover... Um, I'm going to be punching the holes on the opposite side as the pages on the inside. So the pages on the inside, I punch the holes on the left of the pocket side. So for the front cover, I want it to be solid so I can make a cute cover. And then the inside will have a pocket. So I can't decide between these two patterns here. But I think I'm going to go with the plaid. So this one is going to have the holes punched on the opposite side. And this one I'm going to go ahead and punch just like I did these. So let me show you what I did. So I just measured the final size of my bag after I decorated it. And these happen to be five and three quarters by four and three eighths. So then I just cut a template down to that exact size, five and three quarters by four and three eighths. And I just measured and did the holes in the template so that way I could just set it on here and use this for each bag and just punch this in here. So what I have is the We Are Memory Keepers planner puncher thing. And so what I did is I just lined up these um, in the notches that were even for my size paper. So if you happen to have one of these and your bag is this exact size, five and three quarters by four and three eighths, I put this in notch 11, 37, and 63 and then I just centered this on here I didn't push it up to the top I centered it so it went the top line went to that last hash mark 
and then I just punched it and now I've got a template for my bags now the reason I didn't stick each bag in there is because this is so bulky right here it wouldn't even fit so I ended up using my crocodile and again my sister borrowed my crocodile so I'm using this big one but you can just use any hole punch that you have so I'm gonna take this template line it up with that left side just like this and I'm gonna punch my holes so you can't really see it because I'm using this giant crocodile but again just you kind of get what I'm saying just use the template as a guide and punch your holes right through Okay, so that's how it came out. So it lines up perfectly with these because I use the same template. And then for this one, for your front cover, you want to do the outside. So the back is going to be where you punch your holes. And then when you open it, the pocket will be on the inside. Look at how this album is coming along. It looks so cute. I love it so much. So I set my album aside real quick before we bind it. So I made these Polaroid photo mats to go in the pockets and they look just like a cute little Polaroid. I love how they turned out and I did have to make the, I did have to cut them down quite a bit so they could fit in there with the rings and everything but I still think they turned out cute and then I just left them plain on the back for lots of journaling or pictures. And so I just thought that was like a cute little twist on a photo mat. And I'm going to show you how to make it. This measures three and three quarters by five and a quarter. So since these are four by four, we just need to trim them down a little bit. So what I did is I just took it and trimmed a quarter inch off of the sides and the top. Not the bottom, just the two sides and the top. So now we have this trimmed down and it fits really perfectly right there. It makes it look like a cute little Polaroid. So I'm just going to glue this down now. I think that looks adorable. If you're using these for anything else, you can make the um, border a little thicker but since they're going down in these pockets I wanted to make sure that they fit plenty of room down here for journaling and the back so now we've got our six Polaroid photo mats I'm just gonna stick those aside for a second okay so I have these one inch rings and I got them at Dollar Tree and I'm just gonna put these through the album so it's very self-explanatory you just take the top holes and slip them on there And there we go. So we've got the top ring all secured and you're just going to do the same thing for the middle and the bottom. Okay, I've got my album all bound with the rings. I love how this looks. It's so rustic and cute. Here's our pages so far. And lots of room to grow because these rings are pretty big. I'll decorate the cover in a minute, but first I want to show you what I'm putting in the pockets. So also in the collection, there was a sheet of 6x4 cut aparts. So excuse my allergies. I'm so sorry my voice is scratchy. But anyways, the collection also came with the 6x4 cut aparts. And so I'm going to put one of these in each of the top loading pockets. And of course, one each of our cute little Polaroids. And then for the little pockets here, I'll show you that in just a minute. But let's start with this one. So with these pockets, there's actually two little sections. So there's a gusset in the middle here, but there's a section here. So I will put my first Polaroid right there. And then I'll choose one of these four by six cut aparts and stick it in the back section pocket. So there's going to be two pullouts in each. So there'll be two pullouts in each of these bags. And with the um, four by six, you might have to trim a little bit off the top or the bottom for it to fit in there because of the rings. 
Okay, so then that one went in. And we're going to do this one next. So I'm going to choose this cute Polaroid here. Isn't that adorable? And stick that in the front pocket. And then I've got this one. loading pockets full and when we do the final flip through I'll show you what's in each pocket but now I want to do the little pockets so these little front pockets can fit lots of goodies too and in the collection there was a whole sheet of three by four cut aparts so I'm gonna stick one of these in each of the pockets and there was also a tag cut apart sheet as well so what I did with those is I cut a tag out for each pocket and I put some orange twine. This twine actually came in Happy Mail from Ginny, so I'm using that, and it's perfect. It's this orange twine, so I'm just going to cut a little bit off of there and get my last tag. I've already punched holes at the top of each of these, and I think they'll look super cute. And I love these tags because they have a journaling spot on the back. Okay, so now I want to figure out which ones I want to go in which pocket. That's adorable. Okay, we'll do trick or treat in there. This thing is getting so chunky. I love how it's turning out. I love this collection. It's so fun to create these albums because you can use all the elements in the collection. So now time to decorate my front cover. There's my cover. I love how it turned out. Ginny also cut these um, orange doilies for me. I think they're so cute. And I always love when she uses doilies on her projects. So the last thing I want to do is tie some ribbons to the rings. And Ginny did this in her video as well. And she just so happened to send me the most beautiful Halloween ribbon ever. And I think I'm going to use some of this to tie on the rings. So let me show you the ribbons that I got here. I'm so excited to use these. Let me show you how I'm going to do it on one of the rings. So I'm just going to tie these in like really tight knots. That one's pretty secure. And I'll just do this one. I'm going to definitely give these a trim when I'm all done tying them on there. But I want to make sure I get my star one on there. I love this one. So you don't want to tie it around where the opening is, so make sure you don't do that. But you can make these as messy as you want and then just go in and tighten them. 
after you're done tying them all on here. Okay, so I finished my paper bag album. I think this turned out so cute. Thank goodness for all this beautiful trim and ribbon that Jenny sent me. I think it matches this album perfectly. And I'm just going to trim a little bit. So I did trim the ribbons just a little bit. And I just think this turned out so cute. Again, here's the cover that I came up with. And I made this little cluster down here with a sticker and some of the paper and a cut apart. And again, there's the gorgeous trims that I put on the rings. So let's do a full flip through. Okay, so I opened it up and this looks already so adorable. And in each of the pockets, we've got this one here. And remember, these top loading pockets have two sections. So you can fill it up with lots of goodies. And then I stuck in this Polaroid. And then of course in the little pocket, you can fit tons of stuff in there, but I've got a journal card and a tag. Okay, so over here we have these cute little embellishments. And I love that you can journal on the back of the tag with our adorable little cat here. And then in the front pocket, for the top, we've got this Polaroid, super cute. Lots of room for journaling on the back. And in the back section, we have this cool journal card, and I love the backs of these too. So I'll put those back in in a second. Then you flip over here, and over here is a really great spot for a big photo. And you can make little embellishments if you want and decorate this page. I might go through and add some of the stickers on here. So in this pocket, we have a journal card and a tag. And then we've got our pullouts up here. So we've got this Polaroid and this big journaling spot. So we've got six pages all together. So we have 12 front and back. And here is the album, inspired by my good friend Jenny over at Polly's Paper Studio. Please make sure to go and visit her channel next. She's got a video out using the same paper collection as I mentioned, um, creating one of the projects that I made on my channel. So I'm so happy to be part of this collaboration with her and I really recommend you all subscribing to her channel. She's so amazing. You will be blown away by her talent. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this project and you'll give it a try. This will be up for sale in my Etsy shop. So if you're interested, the link will be below. All the links for everything will be below. And I want to thank you all again so much for watching. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.